Hello, and here is the introduction for week seven. Um, kind of a similar type of way of opening uh, the week. We're going to start off with a little vocabulary looking at um, most of chapter 15. Um, and chapter 15 has some terms. We're going to kind of focus in the idea of um, different sections. So actually, after this week, we're going to kind of go into other parts of it. Um, but we're going to start looking at immigrants and then look at uh, the impact of industrialization, progressivism on African Americans, and then finally look at the ideas of how it impacts women. Um, and so chapter 15 is kind of covering all those sections. So we're going to start with kind of a large list of vocab, just to get an understanding of what you know about this time period. So I want you to do the vocabulary for these terms. Um, as usual, the Quizlet right here will have all those on there. Um, and then after you do this, there is a quiz. So the day one, we're going to start that. Now, the next part of what we're going to be doing is this is one of those assignments that you can actually do in class with us. And I'm going to spend time kind of guiding people as to what to do with this. But it's a little bit different method of learning. And this is going back to our uh, previous focus on the ideas of uh, summary, paraphrase, and quote. And so this is like a guided lesson um, that you can do outside of class. Um, so basically, you have to kind of follow the directions. And what it says is start by clicking the audio file embedded in my Bitmoji. So it's going to take you through the process of looking at different websites and then give you guidance as to what you should do with that website. So like me, I'm the Bitmoji. You click on it and then you would click the audio file. And then what that audio file will tell you to do then is to go through these next steps of looking at the summary assignment and you'll be clicking on either this, um, which is the link to where to go, or this, which is another audio file. So the letters are actually audio files and they give you kind of the directions of what you need to do. Um, and then the last part of this just says, how do you turn this in? Um, and it'll give you kind of the directions of what you need to do for that. So all of this you can really do on your own, as long as you can just kind of focus on the directions. Now, this is gonna be one of those things that'll be helpful because if you can kind of guide your way through that process, you'll need less time on uh, either the second day, day two, uh, or um, on Thursday or Tuesday to go through the summative. And the summative is this little link right here, which will take you to this Google Doc. And this is one thing where I'm gonna kind of help people on that second day get through what they're supposed to do. Um, but more or less for each box, there'll be a hyperlink with directions as to what you should do with that hyperlink. So for example, you're gonna summarize the information from this link. And so it opens up, it's about four or five paragraphs. You're gonna summarize the entire thing into one summary. And I'm gonna kind of guide people through the process of like the best way to do that. The next one is to paraphrase, um, and then we'll get another one to summarize, another one to paraphrase, and then one to quote. And ultimately, as long as you do all of these boxes, you would get a four. Um, if you can't make it through all the boxes, it kind of goes down after that to three, to, if you only do one box, it would be a one. All right. So that's pretty much, uh, and this is a summative assignment. So I'm going to guide people through this to help them make sure that they uh, can get that done. Um, but then that'll be due by the end of the week uh, for six hours to be due Sunday night. And that's going to be um, part of your attendance for Friday is making sure that you have all three of these or four of these things done. So if you don't have um, the day two assignment finished as kind of the summative, then your attendance for that day uh, would be absent for Friday. All right. So if you have any questions, please make sure to reach out to me.